Ilya Topuria is a megastar and I don't understand why we're not talking about it or just walking around the topic. There's multiple ways how a fighter in the UFC can rise into the stardom. First, or the best way, is basically just proving it, you know, fighting the best there is and winning in a spectacular fashion. And what can be better than completely stunning the crowd and knocking out one of the goats of a featherweight division? Like, Alexander Volkanovsky, Volkanovsky is one of the best fighters there is. And Ilya just ran through him. That's that's first point of becoming a star. Not only that, he subbed Bryce Mitchell and he made Josh Emmett look like a lackluster striker. That is incredible. And not only that, there is multiple ways. Like, like the, Ilya turned a proper heel. He bet on himself big. We, nev we, never, we didn't have a good villain, good story arc before for a long time, right? The dude, two weeks before the fight, already wrote into his Instagram bio that he's already a champion. You know what I mean? He could either become the biggest clown if he lost the fight or the biggest star. And this is the thing. Even two days before the fight, he got a photo shoot with the belt before even fighting for it. That is absolutely incredible. The dude bet on himself big and it paid off big time. And why is a superstar? It's because there is multiple ways how to approach it. Also look at the following. The dude is technically from a two countries. So he has a fans in two different countries, in Georgia and in Spain. In Georgia, people literally waited until 6 a.m. to watch him fight. Who does that? Unless you have very hard following, people usually don't do it. And Spain, Spain has one of the most passionate fans regarding any sport. Like La Liga, football is one of the biggest sports in Spain. And Ilya can capture this crowd that can become, that, that can be huge. And lo look at that, like what it did for him in terms of followers. Just a week before the fight on Instagram, Ilya was around 2 million followers, which is a lot. It's quite a lot. But after winning, just in a span of seven days, he gained more than 1 million followers on Instagram. Who does that from the UFC? If there is only few fighters that have more followers on Instagram than Ilya. And that's John Jones, who is arguably the GOAT, right? Obviously. Islam Makachev, who is the biggest fighter in the Muslim world, and his name has been tied to Khabib for a long time. And, you know, from the current champions, there is only Sean O'Malley. And Sean O'Malley got insane push from the UFC. And he's also himself a big star. So, like, we don't really realize how Ilya Topuria is doing so well. And he's only 27 years old. And, like, after winning, he just got gifted Aston Martin by some dealership in Madrid. Which fighter got gifted a high-quality sports car like that? And not only that, like, the dude has a supporters, big names. A Sergio Ramos, a known footballer, is a big supporter of uh, Ilya Topuria. And just to, so you can grasp the idea, I mean, sure, Tony Ferguson walked out with David Goggins, but David Goggins is nowhere near the stardom level of Sergio Ramos. Just so you can realize, Sergio Ramos has more than 60 million followers on Instagram and is a major football star. Like, imagine if Ilya Topuria just could get, I don't know, 10% of his fans on his way. That's six, six million fans, six million new fans. That's, that, that would be incredible, you know? And not only that, like, we are talking about what's next for Ilya Topuria. Fight in Spain, first ever UFC even in Spain, that can be huge, huge. And in Madrid, you know, in the legendary stadium of Santiago Bernabeu, that's, that's, like, that's one of the biggest football stages in the world. Just to be attached to it, means that you are an absolute star, you know, and that's, that's still not it. Like, let's compare it with Sean O'Malley, right? Sean O'Malley got a huge push from the UFC and still has just a little bit more followers than Ilya Tapuria, right? Sean O'Malley, you know, was on a Pat McAfee's show and it's here and there and has his own channel and own thing. But Ilya Tapuria didn't get a, such a huge push from the UFC. His stardom is increasing exponentially his fans are growing exponentially and he's on a track to be and he's only 27 years old like guys he's only 27 years old and he's already one of the biggest names in the sport now imagine if he gets huge backing 
Imagine if UFC bets big on him and they make one of the best events possible in fucking Spain. That itself could make him humongous. Humongous. Like, it's absolutely incredible. And this, like, it, and it's, it's still not it. Like, you can capture... So, Ilya also speaks Spanish, right? That's a whole lot in America you can capture. That's Spain you can capture. Then also Georgia, because of his nationality. That's a whole other country that you can capture as a market. And he speaks full in English. Like, that's the best package you can ask for. That's every Mexican-born fighter that UFC is looking for. You know, you can capture multiple markets with one go. And not only that, he also fights entertainingly. He's trying to knock people out. He's trying to finish people. This is not a boring decision machine. And he's proving it. And the next fights for him, for example, he mentioned that he doesn't want to fight Yair Rodriguez. He doesn't want to fight Brian Ortega, Max Holloway. He wants new fresh blood. And that could be huge if we get a good name because the good antagonist is good as good as you know the protagonist like the good needs the evil and the evil needs the good otherwise without each other it's not it and Ilya is already halfway through what he needs is a very good drama very good opponent i think the volk deserves a rematch and everything but we need some some fresh blood because this guy is already a superstar. He just needs that one big drama fight like Conor McGregor and Khabib. Like Khabib, Khabib needed McGregor and McGregor needed Khabib. They needed each other to create one of the world's biggest fight. And Ilya needs this. Sadly, I mean, there is not really a rivalry. I mean, Yair was talking a lot of shit, but then he lost to Brian Ortega. So you could, you know, you, you, could, you can make one good matchup, matchup and that's with Sean O'Malley. And Sean O'Malley and Ilya Tupuria has a chance to become one of the biggest matches because you have two young superstars on the rise. But would you see be willing to risk that and, you know, losing one of the stars or diminishing the name of the other? We don't know yet. But one thing is for sure. Ilya Tupuria is becoming one of the biggest names in the UFC and in the sport of MMA. And he's only 27 years old. That is absolutely incredible. I can't wait to see him fight again. And maybe I will see him in person in Spain because, oh boy, his fights are more just entertaining. You don't want to miss it. And I really hope you enjoyed this small commentary. And I really hope that you follow Ilya Tapuria because his career is getting interesting. Subscribe and I will see you next time.